Okay, I just got back from school and I remember one thing that really bugs me, really, really bugs me. So the bus schedules at the school, we go to Seneca, you get a free bus, they call it a shuttle. Hey, you get to ride the shuttle bus, the Seneca shuttle for free. It's a school bus, but it's painted red with Seneca on it. So it doesn't look like a school bus, but it's the same. A grade two trip to the Oshawa Zoo, one school bus. A college providing for a thousand students, one school bus. I'm trying to picture like the Seneca people in a meeting like planning this out, like the planning out the bus schedules. How did this even happen? Because I'll have a class end at, let's say, 5, 10, 5, 10. You know what time the bus is at? 5. So a class will end at 5, 10, and the bus will leave at 5. So then the next bus is at 6, 15, and guess who's on that one? People who need the 6, 15, and people have been waiting an hour. So that just combines how many people are there. So how did the school look at the schedule of the classes and come up with the bus schedules? So the last thing on the docket here is the bus schedule, so who's got that covered? Oh, uh, I think that was Dave, but he called in sick, so. Terry, you majored in math, what about you? You carry the floor, don't make you. Hmm. Okay, I'd say a class is at 510, right? Ah, I don't even. Hmm. Uh-huh. What time? Oh, uh, what about five? Telling you, complete morons. That, I bet that's how it actually happened too. Okay, so then I was like, okay, I can talk to somebody about this, right? I can get this done somehow. So I go up to my, uh, my social psychology teacher after class, because I had an hour and a half to kill. Anyways, I go up and I'm like, listen, uh, the buses are like at five, five o'clock and the class at 10. Can I leave early from now on? Like I'll do my test at the start or something, my quiz at the start. No, but I know a chair that works at Seneca. I can ask her and see if she can do anything. So then I was all like, yeah, I was thinking of becoming a chair, but I think I'm too much of a lazy boy. Eh? So anyway, that didn't work out. The chair did nothing. So anyways, while I'm doing this, today I go up to the bus. And this happens more than once, but today for some reason really ticked me off. We at the bus, there's no driver in the bus. Windy as hell, right? We're all chilly. Cold, I'm front of the line. No bus driver there yet, right? The bus driver finally walks up. And I'm like, okay, good, let's go. He gives me a look like this. Can't let you in yet. What do you mean you can't let me in right now? Five minutes before we leave, you can come in. There's a, it's a policy. School policy for its students to freeze in the cold, okay. Okay, so I'm hearing complaints that the buses are really busy and they're really crowded. How can we solve this problem? Uh, have everyone enter at once in the big crowd? Yep, perfect, moving on again. So here's me. Hey, could you let us in? He's doing nothing! Right, so on the inside, I'm like, I swear to God, don't let me in this bus, I'm gonna shove this broomstick right here. But on the outside, I'm like, a little cold out. Yeah, a bit chilly. <laughs> okay, next up, how can we make our food even shittier? 